It's been said that detoxing your body may take days, maybe even months and maybe even years, depending on which level of health you are trying to reach. But I'm gonna tell you about my detox experience and it did not take years, days or months. It actually took about three and a half days. I'll tell you more about it coming up next. Hello everyone, thank you for joining me again. This is Raw Vegan Food Diet, and if you are not subscribed to this channel, please subscribe now and hit the bell notifications so that you can know when I'm uploading. And also like and share this video if this is the type of topic that you feel will be helpful to others as well as yourself. I love the feeling of being healthy, feeling like my GI tract is clear and feeling like maybe like a newborn baby, maybe like I have a, a new lease on life. So when I heard the idea of removing mucoid plaque, I felt like that was right up my alley. It seemed true to me, even though the research online showed that perhaps it doesn't even exist. So when I started my first fast, which was a juice fast, or maybe I would say a juice feast, um, of a three-day juice feast, I was very optimistic that I could get this unicorn-like <laughs> experience of removing mucoid plaque. And so starts my journey. I started like a modified grape juice fast, I would say, master fast system. My detox journey started, I would say, longer than five years ago, but that's as far back as I could remember. Um, I wanted to change my health. So when I decided, when I came across the um, Master Fast system or the Grape Juice Diet, however you want to say it, uh, because there's a couple out there, but um, it sounded great to me. And First, first of all, I knew I deserved it. I knew that it was time and let me try to get some things moving. I've always been the type of person to take my health in my own hands and push, you know, and get my way. I feel like what my highest joy is. So I've always had that type of personality where even if from the outside, it looked like I was down and out, I never give up faith and hope on myself. So this type of health application was right up my alley. It was reasonably priced um, for the time and I just went for it. So the tools that I used, an enema uh, bucket. Um, also I use uh, Welch's grape juice at the time, a few gallons of that it was three gallons. And I believe I use also fresh lemon juice and these were the detox tools that were required for the master fast system. And, um, oh yeah, in addition, I also use uh, charcoal tablets and psyllium husk. And I believe at the time I did not use bentonite clay. I'm not sure about that, but yeah, I think that was later. But um, so yeah, so that's what I did. And it was a really phenomenal experience. I've never had such dedicated time to any one way of eating where I didn't have like multiple different foods and it was actually satiating which <laughs> boggled my conscious mind um, it's amazing you know when you go against the programming that you have about the three meals a day and even the three foods per plate per meal and it is just blown with just two ingredients grape juice and lemon juice. So that was amazing. The mental part, just mind blown. That's that, that was even possible that I could feel satiated. No meat, no anything, you know, no uh, dense cook carbs. So that was amazing. Uh, the next thing was the outcome. So I did tell you in the beginning of this video that I preferred to see mucoid plaque because I connected that to perhaps that I'm moving in the right direction, that these physical ailments will help 
uh, will heal themselves if I just get my body back on the right track and stop eating certain things for a certain amount of time. And I'll be able to see for myself if this is real, if it really happens. So I had day one, no mucoid plaque. And that was about a gallon of grape juice with, I believe, a whole lemon of lemon juice, squeezed, fresh. Day two, nothing. Day three, I was a little <laughs> like bewildered. I was like, shouldn't it be here by now? You know, at least with the videos that I was watching back then. And um, it was nothing happening. So I said, okay, because there was some mix up or not mix up there was a lot of speculation probably maybe still is i don't know but back then it was a lot of speculation on when people release mucoid plaque that it's not actually a coating on the colon or the intestines it's not actually old built up gunk in food and prescription drugs or whatever type of uh, acidic crap you know coats itself on the inside of your pipes so to speak that it's actually the psyllium husk, the clay, and the charcoal that is formulating into some strange brownish or blackish tiry thing. And then when it's released, that's what you're seeing released into the toilet, that it's not actually the sludgy stuff. So this is the perfect time and to bring up why I actually take the medical field with a grain of salt, because just because doctors have not proven something doesn't mean it's not true. So this is where experience and taking your health into your own hands actually will benefit you. So without further ado, I mixed up a psyllium charcoal and I believe maybe a little bit of bentonite clay, but I really don't think so. I just think it was the two and maybe put a little water or grape juice in there. And I mixed up the sludge let it gel for a few minutes and I took it down. I believe I went to sleep and the, this will be day three and a half or day four. Day four, I woke up. I don't remember eating or drinking anything yet, but I went straight to the toilet and new pork pie. Just like I believe that it could and should be. And when I saw that, like a lot of people, I was shocked. <laughs> and I had to fish it out of the toilet and I had to lay it out across plastic bags on the floor. And it was so long. I do have pictures. I did measure it and it did not smell like zombie guts, like a lot of people say that theirs does. <laughs> I'm not better than anybody or anything like that. I think it depends on what's going on in there. But um, it, did, it did exist and it does exist and it came out. And actually for years until kind of closer to the past year and a half, maybe year, I believe like a lot of people that because the doctors kind of did a whammy on my brain and made me think like, oh, maybe it is just a psyllium husk in number two or something like that. But um, I don't believe it now. It takes a while, you know, to get over one. If this is how you've been raised, your doctor's point of view and science's point of view and your own science, which is your own experience. And to try to understand something that Maybe you're a pioneer. Maybe it's something that is discovered that doctors have not even discovered yet. And to actually trust it and have the faith that, yeah, I could be that girl. I could be that person that actually discovered that through my own experience. And I'm not the only one that has discovered that. Every other individual that has taken authority in their own health has seen that as well. Some with the expectancy to see it and some not, shockingly and surprisingly. And you can look on YouTube or whatever if you want to see more videos of people that actually had the same experience as myself. In the realm of does it take days, months, and years to detox, I will say no in the form of mucoid plaque. You don't necessarily have to do month-long um, detoxes or even raw vegan detoxes. All I did to prepare for this detox 
was, I believe, an enema, a water enema the night before. And all I did was drink pasteurized grape juice, not raw vegan, and fresh, live, alive, alkaline, acidic, balanced lemon juice, you know, and that was very astringent, I believe, for the system. It was very pulling and it was doing its magic. And all it took was, I would say, a little plunge, so to speak, which would be in the form of psyllium husk and charcoal, because these things like pull maybe like, I would like to say like a hundred times more than their size in water. So they pull very hard and they pull a lot. Under other circumstances, I was, I would have been afraid to use it, you know, if I felt clogged because I would feel like, well, at least with clay, I would feel like maybe I would be blocking something, you know, but in this circumstance where I'm doing liquid for several days and then to do that days later, not every day, just that last kind of day where I'm coming to a close, when I did that, I knew that being how my bowel movements were going so smoothly and sometimes not even going at all, but I didn't hear anything, probably for the first two days. I didn't hear any rumblings or any digesting or anything happening. So I knew it was a good time to take psyllium husk. If it's going to do anything, if it's going to be any type of mucoid plaque, it would come out through that way. Um, and it wouldn't block anything because that was one of my fears. And I believe I have more of a fear with that with the um, bentonite clay, because I heard about that. And I can, we can see clay before it even gets inside of the body. And we already know it can harden, you know? So if I did use clay, I just use a tiny little bit for the pulling action, the pulling, you know, on the walls to get the mucoid plaque to just flow through easily. What does it feel like to actually pass mucoid plaque? It's strange. It kind of feels like a regular number two or you just go to the bathroom, but it's like a little different. I think it's, at least from my experience, it felt a little like slippery, but then it's because we don't, usually we don't release mucoid plaque very often in such lengths like that. It's like, you know, something is different and you're like, what the heck is going on? You know? And then when you look in the toilet and you see it, it's like, wow. Like, it's amazing. It's an exhilarating feeling. I even felt clearer after, like mentally, like my third eye opened or something like that. It just was like, like my system just felt so good. Or you just turn a new chapter in your life, like before and after. And I was like, wow. And I feel like that is a perfect time. Once you feel like you cleaned your clock, so to speak, that is a perfect time to start introducing some wonderful raw vegan foods. Now that you feel like uh, the vitamins or whatever you're taking is not gonna be absorbed by the walls or mostly absorbed by the mucoid plaque that's caked up on your walls, now you can start getting some nice, fresh water, nutrient-dense vitamins and minerals in your system and that your walls can take in in your colon can take in through your bloodstream. And you can really start healing some things. I wasn't consistently raw after that. So only nowadays am I really buckling down and becoming more raw. And it also helps watching others talk about their story and that they've triumphed, you know, in certain ways. So that's what I wanted to do. And I decided I deserved it. And so I went for it and I have it now. And I feel so blessed because of it. When deciding if these type of fasts will happen as fast as it did for me, I would say use my story to encourage you on what you do, but don't expect to have the exact same results as I do. Um, I didn't have any chronic illness that I remembered. I did feel a little overweight for my preferred weight, you know, my preferred optimal health weight. I did feel that way. I did drop significant amount of pounds um, during that time as well, but um, I'm not on any type of uh, medication. I haven't been in on medication for a long time. So there's a lot of things that can factor into, will you release uh, mucoid plaque in the first few days of detoxing? 
um, on a detox diet, I'm not sure for you, but I can just tell you exactly what I did and it worked for me. I did not have to do um, 20 days or 21 days or 30 days or a year to see mucoid plaque in juicing water or whatever else type of detox um, diets that are out there. It came pretty fast. But if you are trying to heal, if you are trying to just have an overall good sense of self and you are trying to do some other things like mentally, maybe in business, maybe performance wise, you will want to get over to a great diet lifestyle. Not just an antidote as far as a three day diet. That is like a Kickstarter or 21 day or 30 day. That would be like a Kickstarter for me. And the mucoid plaque release was definitely a Kickstarter. So if you're interested in doing that, please check my links below. I have the products that I used in my Amazon shop and please explore and let me know if you've been through something similar, if you've actually had a mucoid release and share with the community in the comments and like this video if you like it. Again, subscribe and thank you for joining me. And I wish you all the luck and all the great health on your health journey. See you again.